So this is the second look in this three lick series, uh, Gary Moore um, Blues Fast Licks. Um, and it's very similar to the first one. Um, starts out a little different. Um, it's a little different kind of a slant on it. But, um, and it, it's in, it's in uh, the C minor uh, pentatonic box there. A little bit of uh, stuff up here in that little extension box. Okay, so we start up here on the E string, and uh, he does that two string bend thing. Okay, so he's, he's, he likes to do that. Um, a bunch of guys like doing that. Neil Schoen does that a lot, and um, Doug Aldrich seems to like that too. Um, just gives you that real sense of urgency. You know, you can go once and you just go. It sounds great, but do two. Sort of gives it that sort of siren kind of uh, urgent sound. Okay, so that's how the lick starts. Okay, and then we come down here. Okay, so that's that's how that lick basically starts. That's how the fast stuff starts. That's probably what you want to practice. Because that's that's key. That's that's um, probably the most important part to get the lick going. Right. Again, there's hardly any picking. It's just I picked the first two, uh, first three. Last two. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what to practice right there, and just just start out slow. Okay, and just get it up as fast as you can. Okay, so from there. It's kind of just, you feel your way through that, you know. Um, um. You can sort of almost do what you want in that second bit. Um. You know, so you're just kind of bouncing around that pentatonic shape. But the most important thing is how it starts. Uh, and you can um, use that, that, that starting pattern. Uh, uh, you know, just throw that in your playing anywhere just to get that going. That's a great way to start a fast lick. Okay, a little different than the first lick we went over. <coughs> Excuse me, but... Um, really effective and gives you that real kind of sparkly sound that uh, guys like Gary Moore are known for. Okay. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you got something out of this. Um, I, I think it should help you. These speed licks, you, just, you really need to practice a lot. Um, and keeping also in mind that um, everybody who plays guitar is going to, you know, have their own speed limit uh, that they probably won't be able to get past. So uh, the thing is not to get, you know, overly concerned about not being able to play as fast as that other guy. Um, but just, you know, go as fast as you can go. Uh, yeah, but at the same time still pushing yourself to, to try and get, get quicker and more accurate. And uh, yeah, just basically accepting where you're at, but always, always pushing ahead, right? Okay, yeah. So I hope you got something out of it. See you.